For the guys who want to know how stuff works, science and technology in the sport you love. This is Punk Works. Hey guys, Jack Punk here. Um, I don't have a video of the setup that I used to shoot on this high speed video, but um, it is uh, the same as we've always used um, with the camera mounted on the side, like we've been doing uh, since Bryce's basement. Camera mounted on the side, not vertically like this, camera mounted on the side. Um, not that that matters for this test because we're looking at magnitude of spin, not orientation of spin. So that, uh, that's one thing to know. Um, I got this gun. This is a gun I used, a Zoden Chaos Pump, uh, regulated Ninja Reg here. Um, this is a 690 uh, die barrel. And then I used the iFit kit um, in the back um, with all the bore sizes. Uh, the paint, paint to barrel matched at about 679. So I was only able to get about a 12 thou underboard um, as the maximum. Uh, right now the internets are kind of uh, alive with this uh, with uh, RMT Lee's inter uh, barrel testing, which um, is certainly interesting and something we've looked at before. Um, he's posted over in Punkworks, um, and uh, between his testing and our underbore insanity testing and our flask testing. We think we figured out the reason why um, we're getting these weird results at, at eight plus thousands of underboard, which is something we never were able to touch before. We weren't weren't able to get that low, um, <clears throat> just because paint and paint and barrels conspired against us. So uh, what follows here is um, some video uh, illustrating the different magnitudes of spin that I detected um, in in my test. Basically, I just shot ten shots. Um, from each of a few different bores. Um, you can check out the data table uh, for the um, average and the standard deviation of all the spins uh, produced. So, um, yeah, with that, um, here's some video of uh, some spinning paintball. All right, thanks. <laughs> 